So today we are going to be making an accordion book. Accordion books are really awesome because you can make them out of any paper, you can make them all different sizes, and you can add covers onto them uh, that are thicker, like made out of a cardstock or a cardboard, and they can fold open and turn like the pages of a regular book. They can be double-sided, for instance. Uh, I made this one out of some black crepe paper that I have just because I really like it and I like to um, be able to draw on it with gel pen or um, even pencil works on it too. I also made a small one um, out of just like regular printer paper, eight and a half by 11. Um, but today we are going to be making one out of a recycled paper bag just because we're on that tip from the last video. Um, these are some of our supplies. I have my pencil, I have a ruler. I have some different kinds of tape. This is a black masking tape that I used for this one. Um, I have a, a double-sided um, tape. I have some packing tape and then I also have glue. So you can decide how you want to kind of stick your pages together. I'm choosing this paper too because I can make a larger book that way. I'm going to um, make my pages um, long and narrow. <clears throat> I'm gonna look at the quality of my paper. I have these edges. I'm gonna wanna cut out this edge here. I have some tears, right? Um, and so I'm going to, instead of going through and measuring everything with my ruler, which can be useful, I'm gonna first start um, with just turning this over and you can see these creases and they're actually a great guide for judging where you should fold your paper over and you can kind of line those creases up to that good right angle there so you have a great straight line kind of built in All right, so now that that piece is cut off, we can look at our top area. I am going to now measure. This is just my personal preference. You don't have to measure if you don't want to. You can simply fold again and do the same thing. Make your crease and cut along with your crease. Um, so now that I have everything nice and trimmed, I'm gonna kind of look at how big I want to make this, right? How large do I want my pages to be? And I, the way that I'm going to start is I'm going to fold my paper in half. I'm going to make a nice good center line, which actually just happens to already be there because of the way that the paper bag is creased. Now I'm going to create my next page by folding in to the center. Trying to line that up as best I can, even though that my edges are a little curved. I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Okay. And I'm gonna use those as my guide. Now I'm gonna fold in this side. I'm gonna take the crease that I already made and fold it the opposite direction, and this is where the accordion starts to happen. I'm gonna line up that edge with the next space. So now I have my accordion book, okay? And you can use them also horizontally. You can make long landscapes with them. I may actually, at this point, look at my accordion book and say, okay, maybe I don't like that style. I'm gonna actually cut it in half. Because you are allowed to change your mind partway through. So now that I have cut my accordion book in half, I'm gonna have this longer book. And I kinda of wanna look at the best way to attach these. I can either use a piece of tape along here and attach them, 
have a little bit of masking tape attached to the side. Or I can choose to put two pages and glue them fully together. And that can sometimes make a bit of a stronger binding. It can be, um, it depends on how you wanna conceal it, right? So for instance, my edges are a little bit messy, right? The edges of where I cut the uh, paper bag. So I might actually decide to ditch these two middle pages and attach it here and here. I think that's what I'm gonna do today actually. But in order to do that, I'm actually going to not cut off the entire page. I'm just gonna cut off the majority, leaving about a half an inch. Now, I'm going to figure out if I wanna attach the page here and actually leave that second page, or if I wanna move it over here. I think I'm gonna move it over here just cause the line is a little bit more um, straight and will make my book line up a little bit more if I use this as my guide. And I am going to use my glue stick adhesive for this actually, no tape. So I have this black paper here. I'm gonna look at my dimensions. And again, if you don't have a ruler, it's okay. If you do have a ruler, that's great. I'm gonna just use my eye for this. I'm going to trace around. Once. So now we're gonna glue our pages on. And I'm just gonna apply a decent amount of glue stick to this here cover. Attach our page. Now this is the fun part. You can now decide that you want it to be fully able to open. You can decide to um, put a binding on the back so that it only opens like a book. I think I'm gonna put a binding on the back of mine for today just for fun. I'm gonna line that up. So now to create a binding, um, I cut a piece of paper, it's about two and a quarter inches, and I'm gonna fold each side, I already folded one, and I'm going to attach it on the back. So I'm going to put one piece here, and look at my width. See how, if I do this far, that's how far my book is gonna pop out, right? And you can decide where you like that would like that to land. Okay. okay, so now I'm going to apply my page, press it in, I'm going to apply my second page. kind of look underneath for the proper alignment. That looks good. Um, 
I might go through and put some of this black masking tape um, along this edge to make it look a little cleaner. This side looks pretty clean. And remember that you can, you know, go through and you can fully illustrate your book before you put a cover on it. You don't necessarily need a cover. You don't need a cover that's necessarily attached at the back. You can leave that open. And you don't always have to use a ruler. Um, I know that I'm over here with this gridded surface. I have a ruler, all these things. But you can use your eye to be your guide uh, for a lot of things. And you can also use other materials you have around you, like this side of a paper that has a right angle and straight lines. Um, but you can also make these books, you know, they can have different qualities. You can measure them so that the accordion, for instance, like you cut in and your book actually ends up making a zigzag shape or um, makes a like more of a squiggle shape. These are all things that you can experiment with as you... Um, with bookmaking.